so today we will discuss the most important topic that is back testing so in this lecture we will take a simple strategy that is breakout strategy for an hour and we will back test it so here in this chart you can see that these two blue lines are the range of one hour and this orange line is the target and this green line is the stop loss so we will what we will do in this back testing these three parameters are very important stop loss target and entry so in back testing like every day we will store these three values and for the past five years we need to take a wholesome data and from there we will able to know that our strategy is profitable or not so in this example you can see this is the range like uh, HDFC have moved around 24 points so our target will be 1% of the price of a stock so 1% would be 22 points so from 22 to 22.53 to 22.75 it is 1% so our target would be 1% and the stop loss would be the 50% of the range covered so like this for every day we will calculate the stop loss the entry price exit price and the range and we will calculate the overall profit and loss so for that we will start writing code so here i have already written the code so you can see that first of all we need to initialize all the values so it is the total fund it is the total trade count entry price exit price trade target trade stop loss it is like if uh, market if we have entered the market or not like trade is equal to false initially it is false it is false because we haven't entered the market trade long is false that means we are taking the upward direction trade trade short is the downward direction quantity trade book pnl book is false like there is no profit and loss book entry time exit time and trade stop loss hit so these variables would be important to track our all the live movements and for back testing we need some data so we have this 5 minute data of all the stocks so currently we are back testing for only HDFC and we have the high and the low value open high value and the percentage move so now we will iterate this data so using this line of we can iterate the data now the market starts at 9.15 so this is the particular the date if it is equal to 9.15 that means market has entered and the time of is 9.15 then we will initialize all these values and when market is greater than 9.15 and less than equal to 10.15 like first one hour we will simply store the high and low values in these two variables trade open high and trade open low this row high and row low and after that we have to take trade so first of all we will check that if trade we have entered the market or not so initially we are haven't entered the market so traded is false so here you can see traded is false and we will check that the price has crossed the high or crossed the low if the price has crossed the high we will variable uh, use trade long is true traded is true and we will save the entry price trade quantity traded count range trade entry time trade target and trade stop loss so these values we will store in these val in variables and now as we have entered the market so now we will check for the exit so in this exit we have to write condition like if trader is true and trader and pnl book is false that means we will only book, book profit when we will exit so this is the condition of exit like if trade long is true that means market is up direction if trade short is true market is in opposite direction and we have wrote the condition if trade closes less than stop loss like the uh, price is uh, come low the price has uh, crossed the stop loss then it is 
stop loss will hit if the price has crossed the trade target the target would be reached and every time we are saving the exit time exit price pnl that is exit minus entry to trade quantity and we will set trend book pn book is equal to true so in this case it will won't come this to this conditions again similarly for this one so using this we are able to store all the values and calculate the profit and loss so this code is very big so like the implementation so it is the very simplest implementation of backtesting so let us run the code so you can see that the total pnl is profitable and total number of trades is 1391 so this is the implementation of backtesting so in the next lecture we will save all these values as a csv file and there we will analyze all the our trades and all the our uh, profit and loss and how to optimize it how to how not to take the trades that are in loss like we will able to know the pattern so all these things we will cover in this next video thank you